have a, I have a distinction I want to kind of leave us with. Yeah. Um, that was a real eye opener for me as I dived into this topic of appreciation. Because part of me had some resistance to the idea as like, oh, are we just trying to be saccharine and uh, kind of, as, as my father who's passed would say, are we blowing smoke up each other's bloomers? Like he, he had this funny phrase about blowing smoke up, up your bloomers. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, when we say appreciation, there's a distinction that Brian and I want to bring um, that adds depth to this idea, which is appreciation isn't just about finding something positive to sort of bolster or buoy the, the, the topic, like whatever you're talking about. It's not just about trying to make something be more positive, which sounds like appreciation could be. There's even like bumper stickers or whatever that say like, try and find the good in it, you know? Yeah, this is not what we mean when we say to bring appreciation. The distinction that was so impactful for me around this was appreciation is allowing what's present to be fully here and fully expressed, right? So allowing what's here to be fully here and expressed. Now that definition of appreciation leaves room for if someone is in, a, in deep pain and suffering, you're not going, oh, honey, but you're so great. And it's, you really are, you're amazing, you're beautiful. And I know you're really sad right now, <laughs> but let me just appreciate how awesome you are, right? That, it's, it's not that, do it. <laughs> it's not, it, it, it can feel like a sympathy, which is another version. What, what might happen in that moment, if, if he's in some suffering, is for me to just, without him needing to hide, fade, or fix it, like, I don't need him to be any different. Like, yeah, it's really hard right now, isn't it? And I'm just with allowing his sadness to be here, allowing his anger to be here, allowing whatever needs to be expressed. To fully be here. This is what appreciating the present state really means in our relationships is that we don't need to hide, fade, or fix it when our partners are feeling certain ways. We can actually be with whatever is here and allow for it to be here. So I just want to make sure that that distinction makes its way in this conversation we're having about appreciation. And it, for me, takes us into this profound place. And it's why archetypally, those that are really good at this, we sometimes call the Zen masters because in the eye of the storm of all the trigger that might be happening all around them, they're able to be equanimous and balanced and present and fully resourced in that moment because they don't need anything to be different. They're fully right with the moment as it is. And that version of appreciation is ultimately what will regulate the system and will ultimately be what your partner's thirsty for. Yeah, you're great is praise. You're how you are, and that's okay, is appreciation. Yeah. And it's really powerful, um, that difference. Uh, you know, oddly enough, even when someone really is yearning for appreciation, often praise will sound, you know, sour to them. Um, you know, if they know they've really screwed up and they, you know, they say, I've come home, I've screwed up at work, oh, honey, I've made this huge mistake. Um, and then in response, you say, you're awesome at work. It's like, no, no, they got it wrong. You didn't uh, do anything wrong. That's not what I want, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's like saying, denying oh, it. Oh, wow. You sounds like you really made a big mistake. Um, and that's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how, that's what happens sometimes. It's just okay. It is okay the way it is. The what is, is okay. It is. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think we sometimes think that appreciation or not appreciation or appreciation versus complaint belongs to the thing. Like uh, if I get served a meal, if it's a good meal, it deserves appreciation. Mm -hmm. If it's a bad meal, it deserves a complaint. And whether it's appreciation or a complaint belongs to the meal. Um, mm -hmm. And I think one of the great lessons that appreciation has to teach us mm -hmm. is that uh, appreciation is a, a, a come from that's available to us at all times. I can appreciate what there is about anything and I can come from appreciation, that's a choice I can make. Mm. Or I can complain about something how it is and that's a choice I can make. And I probably could find a complaint about even the most wonderful thing and I can appreciate even the most um, difficult thing. 
that's my choice. So whether I'm appreciating or not appreciating is utterly up to me. And I have total control over that disposition versus like, oh, I'm, you have to perform in a certain way in order for me to appreciate. So I think that's one of the great gifts that it gives us is it mm-hmm. teaches us how to have an appreciation come from for really anything. And uh, that's something that our evolving love relationships can give to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if, we, if we're in a conflict and we practice um, the appreciation as a part of the healing of that conflict, that's a spiritual practice for appreciating life as it is, which is uh, one of our, I think, great trainings that we all yearn to be on. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, th- this was our Friday Love Jam. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, we love being here and we love here uh, chatting with you and hanging out with you on these Fridays. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah. See you next time.